hello everyone welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing i know it's been a long long time so what's up what's been happening for me nothing much um i was just about going out so i just want to do like a quick short makeup because i need you guys help actually i, I decided to make this video to ask for your help well so far so good everything has been going on well apart from the fact that i am jobless at the moment but that is not the bane of my life right now what is troubling me is my face <laughs> can you imagine that my face is a bigger problem than joblessness but i mean come on I, I don't know if you can look closely. I suddenly had like acne break out, which I cannot understand. I don't know if it's heat rash or it's acne or pimples or whatever you call it. It's been really terrible and it's lasted longer than I expected. When it first broke out, I thought, well, I'm a little allergic to um, peanuts, but I haven't eaten peanuts. I have not eaten peanuts for... A long time so it couldn't be eat and besides whenever i eat peanuts my allergic reaction always comes out from my arms but you know it could change but i had not eaten peanuts and i thought oh could it be my period i checked my calendar no my period was far far away in fact i had just had my period so it couldn't have been it and so i'm just like a little bit confused maybe i ate something i don't know if it's the summer if you look closely You will see, you can't really see it that well because, you know, it doesn't, my skin is, I do not have bad skin, but I just have this acne on my, on my face right now, which is troubling me. My skin is quite clear. And also, thank God to the melanin, you cannot really see it. Hmm? It's really terrible, guys. It's really terrible. I'm like, at what point? It feels like this um, adolescence uh, um, acne that people get, but I'm already way past that age to start having, you know, pimples. So, long story short, I have, and I also haven't changed uh, my body lotion or moisturizer facial moisturizer or anything like that so i'm a little bit baffled i thought it would have gone away it's gone away just a little bit too much but it's been over a month so i'm getting worried and i've been looking online to see if i can get some um i love aloe vera aloe vera cream but i'm a, I'm a little bit skeptical i don't want to get anything that is not a hundred percent organic because I do not want anything that will provoke the acne more and make the situation even worse than it already is. Um, so I just want to ask, I've been, I checked on Amazon, I saw some aloe vera gels with some good reviews. But if it's not 5 on 5 star, I'm skeptical. Like where is that half star or... Even if it's 4.5 on 5, it's still not enough because I don't want to apply anything on my face that will make my situation already um, worse than it already is because it's really troubling me. But thank God that I'm a black woman, so you cannot really see it. And I also stopped um, wearing makeup. I haven't worn makeup for a very long time because when I have problem with my face, I stopped wearing makeup. I not I know I stopped wearing um foundation on my face where I do my eyebrows and things like that. I'm not an expert, please. So just bear with me. I do my eyebrows and then a little bit underneath my eye, but that's it. I do not apply foundation on my face again. I will not be applying it until I have sorted this issue out. So I would like to ask 
if any of you have any recommendation i've i've thought about buying the aloe vera plant because back at home whenever i have issues like this i used to use back in cameroon i would always use the aloe, aloe vera plant you know just the fresh one you just cut from your backyard and use and it always worked for me but you know aloe vera growing in your backyard in, in in cameron is not the same as the the ones you will buy here i'm a little bit skeptical like what kind of soil have they used to grow this aloe vera you know, i don't know like europe is a little bit different you know there is organic and there is inorganic back at home everything is organic you know aloe vera grow, growing in your backyard cannot be harmful because it's just growing there no one planted it it's just natural organic so i will not have anything to be concerned about but here in europe things are a little bit different you know this organic or inorganic i didn't even know there was a difference so i thought i've also thought about buying the aloe vera plants but i'm also like well what kind of soil has been used i don't just want anything that will you know worse in my my situation i haven't i've always been using um neutrogena this is what i've been using it does work actually it's not because i changed anything so i do not know why i have this acne um breakout you can see on my score and you can see it's really terrible so i would like to ask if anybody if you know if you have any recommendations that i could any lotion so what i do not i do not apply i just apply like a little bit of makeup underneath my eye just to even it out i don't apply makeup anymore because you know until this situation has been taken care of i am not going to be applying any foundation it's it's funny because some people when they have acne or when they have skin problem they tend to cover it up with makeup where for me is the opposite when i have problem with my skin i try to avoid the makeup like i'm not going to apply it where i have my because i'm afraid that it's just going to make the whole thing worse so I just don't do it but to each its own and then I go in my little concealer so this is what I've been doing for the past four weeks since the this acne broke uh, break out um yeah I am jobless I have acne on my face but otherwise i'm alive healthy and kicking so yeah i need your help guys i need help please any recommendations so that's about it with my makeup no more no less i am not adding anything my eyebrows are not the best but you know what when you're this beautiful you don't even need makeup <laughs> you know to be honest when you're fine like this you don't even need to to bake i'm not saying that i i don't wear makeup of course i do but right now i just cannot apply foundation all over my face it's just too risky Get them. this right here is killing me underneath my chin that's the worst of it all it just makes me really really mad whenever i whenever i see it it just makes me mad i'm not even gonna try to wear fake lashes because i don't know am i the only one who doesn't know how to wear fake lashes if i decide to wear fake lashes it could take me an hour trying putting it on and off it's always lopsided i don't know how people do it and i'm wearing no uh i just put like an eyeshadow around here only because i've got um 
wooded eyes just to minimize it a little bit and now I'm just gonna go in with my mascara and that's it I don't think I even need that much of a makeup but I really do miss that so in a situation like this I feel so what I just what I do now is I I wash my face every day I use my Mia too. I use this as a facial scrub and then I use this to just clean my face. I don't even apply um, moisturizer anymore. This is the moisturizer I use, but I don't do it. I haven't been doing it for four weeks because I just, I, I also thought that maybe it could be, you know, my pores are being clotted or something, but I've been using all of these facial products for years. Actually, when I had um, skin problems, when I moved to Germany, I was struggling to find the perfect product for me. My face was so bad. It was rough and, you know, just jaga jaga the way it, it, it used to be. <laughs> so, well, if you're from Cameroon, you know what jaga jaga means. So until I discovered um, this Neutrogena and even before I started using this product, I was using expensive products from the pharmacy and it would just make it worse. So when I found this, it really made my skin clear. But all of a sudden, this um, acne breakout is just killing me. It's just killing me. I'm a little bit frustrated. I do not know whether what product I can use because sometimes when you have issues like this, and then you get some products online and then it just makes the thing worse. Should I get aloe vera plants? Is it, is it uh, organic? It's not organic. Um, so. so this is what I do these days. And of course, it's always, this is fancy. This is this is about it. I'm just gonna find my earrings and put them on. So yeah, what's the point of this video? I just wanted to check out on you guys and see how you all are doing. I am doing fine health-wise. Otherwise, I need help. Please, for recommendations on what products I can use for my acne. You know what? You can you might not see it. On the camera because that is the black girl magic <laughs> but it is there I do need help any recommendations please for um, products that I can use on my face so far look at that do you see my forehead do you see that see here oh my god look at that and I hear Mm, on and in my chin. Mm. Terrible. 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 Please, I need recommendations. I need your help. Well, I hope you all are doing well. I'm also, I'm doing great, <laughs> like I have said before. And it is summer now and I am very excited about it, of course, because we I, I have been waiting for it since the beginning of this year. Um, yeah, stay well and I'll get back to you with results. If I get any recommendations, I will let you guys know which has worked and which hasn't. But first, I need some recommendations um, in the comment section below. Thank you, guys. Um, stay healthy and be splash.